The desire for physical perfection has flourished into a booming cosmetic surgery industry in the United States as more advanced procedures have helped thousands enhance their looks. But now many are turning to the latest in science and technology to help determine their baby's gender. CCTV's Yakenda McGay has this report from Los Angeles. Medical science has advanced so much that you can have anything you want if you can afford it. A thinner nose, a thicker butt, long tresses, short toes, a disappearing waistline or expanding bust line. One can literally design their body from the outside. Okay. But these days, physicians can engineer characteristics from inside a petri dish, including choosing your child's sex. Much like cosmetic surgery, sex selection has become a luxury buy at nearly $18,000 per procedure, making it a $100 million a year industry that experts say is exploding, especially here at the fertility institutes. We've seen patients from every continent on earth, but of the foreign countries, um, Canada and uh, China, India and um, Germany. Are, are fairly big. Fifteen years ago, while studying genetic disease prevention, Dr. Jeffrey Steinberg learned more about identifying embryos carrying male or female chromosomes through a technique called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, or PGD. This is where the fertilization process begins. Under this powerful microscope, let me show you how. This tool right here on your screen left is used to hold the egg. The other instrument that has a sharp needle on the end that's used to inject a single sperm into the egg. Now in embryo, doctors perform a biopsy, removing a single cell, a cell that will eventually tell them its genetic story. So with that power, we're able to um, determine boys and girls, and we did that with 100% accuracy. Word got out, and the next thing you know, people were calling and saying, listen, we don't have any genetic problems. We want a boy, we want a girl. Can you do that? Working mother of three, Jennifer, made that call. Although she wants to remain anonymous, she remains convinced that balancing her brood with another boy is best for her family. So if you can prevent a birth defect or if you can choose the gender that's best for your family, why would you not do that? Bioethicist Dr. Shlomo Sher says the downsides include a devaluing of women and a sex imbalance within populations. Some countries have a very high um, male to female ratio imbalance. Male female imbalance can lead to really serious social problems. I mean, you imagine uh, young men that can't find wives. Um, they're not the sort of things you want in society. And there are opponents who argue that sex selection is a slippery slope, moving society closer to designing babies, asking doctors to play God. So we don't look at it as playing God. We understand that society may not be ready for all of it. There are no rule books. But Dr. Steinberg says he's simply taking advantage of all science has to offer and writing the rule book as he goes. Yakenta Begehi, CCTV, Los Angeles.